Fatum was a beautiful, smart girl, but she was very poor. Her father died, and her mother started begging, wandering, and asking people for food. One day, her mother bought her a little bit of rice, lentils, and some meat, and asked her, "Can you cook this while I wander around in the market? Hopefully, I can get more food or maybe some money." Fatum started cooking some stew. She stood in front of the pot until it boiled. As soon as she finished cooking, the door was knocked. When she opened the door, she saw an old woman asking for some food. Do you have any food? Fatum invited her in. Come in. And poured her a bowl of stew. Here, eat this. The old woman thanked her. Thank you. And ate all of the stew she was given. Then she asked for another bowl. May I have another? And another. Until the pot was empty, Fatum did not mind, and she wished the old woman good luck when she left. Good luck. Now Fatum was concerned about what her and her mother would eat.、Mm. What can I do? She asked herself. She poured some water in the pot and put it over the fire, and left the water to boil with what remained in the bottom of the pot. When her mother returned in the evening, Fatum gave her a bowl of water. And some grains of rice and lentils. The mother got angry and screamed at her daughter. Where is the food? The girl did not know what to say. Where is the food? Her mother's anger、Where、grew, and she went to attack the girl.、Ah! She lunged to hit her, but Fatum opened the door of the house and ran away. Fortunately, her feet led her to the king's palace, and she sat down by the fence. The king was on the balcony. And he saw her. He ordered his servants, "Bring her inside. Take her to the bathroom, and dress her well." When Fatum came out of the bathroom, she looked like a princess in silk clothes. As soon as the king saw her, he was amazed by her beauty, and immediately announced his desires. "I wish to marry you." Joy and happiness spread all over the country, and the wedding ceremonies lasted for seven days. And eight nights in the city, all people were invited to eat and drink from the king's palace. Fatum was happy in her new life, and so was the king. One day, Fatum was stood on her balcony, when she saw her mother at the bottom of the wall of the palace begging. She sent the servants to get her. Bring that woman inside. When they brought her inside, Fatum told her mother, "I'm married to the king now." Leave your life of begging and live with me in the palace. But her mother got angry and yelled out, "What did you do with the food I asked you to cook that day, you daughter of beggars?" Fatum tried to comfort and quiet her mother. Mother, please calm down. Forget the food. I can give you jewels and pearls instead. She promised. But the screams of her mother were becoming increasingly louder. The girl had to use deception. She told her mother. The dish of food is in the courtyard of the palace, at the bottom of the window. She led her to the window to see it. When the mother looked, she pushed her, and she fell down dead. Then the girl rushed to the courtyard of the palace, dug a hole at the bottom of the window, and buried her mother. After that, Fatum forgot what she had done and lived happily with her husband, the king. But one day she looked down from her window. And saw that a plant had emerged in the courtyard of the palace, where she had buried her mother. She did not care for it, but day after day, the plant raised and grew, until it became a tree. One day, while the girl was looking at the twigs and branches extending in front of the window, the breeze blew. It moved the leaves, and the sound was like someone saying, "Daughter of beggars, daughter." One night, while Fatum was sitting with her husband, talking about different issues, with the window at the room open, soft breezes blew, and she heard again the leaves saying, "She ran to the window and closed it with great fear and confusion. When she returned to the table, the king noticed her pale face and the changes in her expression." He also saw tears in her eyes. What has happened? What's the matter? He asked. 
She tried to evade the answer. Please, what is wrong? He insisted. I do not like the palace. She told him. The toilet in my father's house is bigger and more beautiful than this palace. The king was shocked when he heard that. He decided to see the toilet of her father's house, and if it was not as she said, he would kill her. Fatoum could not believe what she had said, and regretted it. She had to walk with her husband, the king, to guide him to her father's house. She was walking like someone who had gotten lost, and did not know where to go. The king kept asking her, Where is your father's house? How much further is it? She kept walking, unsure what to do, until they reached a barren land. The king said to her, You are no doubt a liar, and you must be killed. He drew his sword. Please, I think we are almost there. She begged. First, allow me to check behind the hill. (sighs) Okay, but be quick, he said. Fatoum intended to run away, but when she reached the other side of the hill, she saw a large tortoise. The tortoise suddenly said, What is the error that you did, Fatoum? Fatoum was astonished, and then said to the tortoise, Please help me. Go immediately and bring the king back here. In my place you will find a door in the ground. Open it up and enter. Fatoum was about to speed to the king when the tortoise warned her, Do not stay at the bottom more than seven days, or else things will turn bad. Fatoum returned to her husband, the king, smiling, while he still stood angry with the sword in his hand. We've reached my father's house, she told him, and then led him to where the tortoise was behind the hill. She saw the door, she opened it, and saw inside was a crypt. She descended with the king, and further inside they found a palace, like nothing they had seen before. It had high domes, wide doors, with alabaster stairs and coral lamps, as if made by elves. The king stayed with his wife, Fatoum, in the palace for days, enjoying everything they did, until the seventh day. Fatoum remembered what the tortoise said to her. So she said to her husband, I long for your palace, and I miss it. I will not mention my father's palace anymore. The king forgave her. Okay, I forgive you. They came out of the crypt, and again they found themselves in the barren land. After walking a few steps, Fatoum said to the king, Wait for me here. I want to go back quickly. I think I've forgotten something. She returned to where she had seen the tortoise seven days ago. And there it was again. Thank you, she said. But who are you, really? The tortoise responded. I am the old woman that you welcomed into your home and fed long ago. The king and his wife, Fatoum, the daughter of the beggars, returned home to spend the rest of their lives together happily.